the work on the transition of maps to HD is in full swing. The most important task in this process is to keep the performance on the same level. Some preparatory changes were implemented into the game client, for example, DirectX 11. It improves the performance and allows for different graphics improvements such as tessellation. Tessellation is a technology that splits the geometry of an object into smaller triangles. Therefore, the object's level of detail improves. We've also improved terrain, the ground surface. When it's rendered, a lot of materials get blended, such as grass, ground, asphalt, rocks and so on. It creates a high load on a graphics card. But in HD maps, we implement the virtual texture technology. The graphics card pre-mixes all materials and stores them in a separate buffer. Now, when terrain is rendered, the materials won't blend for every frame over and over again, but will be taken from that buffer. This reduces the load on the graphics card significantly and helps achieve good performance. In addition to simple optimization, video memory is saved as well. We don't use many unique textures and big unique objects. They're composed from a number of smaller ones. For example, if we need to draw a texture of a big long wall, we can do this by using one big texture, but it will require a lot of video memory. Instead, we use a certain number of smaller textures. There can be a brick wall at the top, covered with dust and mud at the bottom and so on. It's like assembling a construction set. There are a number of details that you can use to create absolutely unique objects. In production, this method is more difficult, but it allows us to save a lot of resources. HD maps require a lot of work on lighting. The light should be blocked and reflected off the objects on its way to the camera. For example, the sunlight that falls on a red wall will light up the nearby vehicles and objects in red. To do so, we use our own implementation of the global illumination technology. The new maps will have not only the improved graphics, but also new effects. Fire will be changed and improved on all maps. New textures, smoke, particles, and effects that convey heat distortion and shockwaves from the explosions were created. The particles can now receive and cast dynamic shadows. The water will be improved as well. It'll have realistic reflections, light scattering in the water volume and foam. Shots, explosions and vehicle movement will create realistic geometric waves on the water. Also, almost every map will have a unique object on it. It'll be a destroyed airship on Redshire and a battleship on Himmelsdorf. This isn't the full list of changes. We'll continue our work on HD maps and share more details with you.